what did Tom Brady, his ex-wife Giselle, and the Ontario Teachers Pension Fund all have in common? You don't need a flamethrower to buy, sell, or trade Bitcoin and crypto safely. You just need FTX. Well, they all lost a lot of money following the collapse of FTX cryptocurrency exchange, and it's impacting a lot of digital currencies. Just a year ago, Bitcoin hit an all-time high of nearly 69,000 US. Well, it fell to its lowest level since November 2020, slumping to a two-year low. Bitcoin traded around 17,645 overnight. Following the sudden collapse of crypto exchange FTX trading, the CEO, Sam Bankman-Fried, agreed to sell in a bailout deal that completely backfired. The opaque nature keeps us, Carl, from drawing any conclusion about what's going on, positive or negative. How concerned are you about it? Extremely. Are you? Extremely concerned. Extremely concerned because we have a lot of viewers who are in these. Bankman Freed tried to sell to Binance after experiencing the cryptocurrency equivalent of a bank run, where clients withdraw their money because they believe the bank, or in this case, FTX, may cease to function in the near future. When customers deposit money into FTX and they go and buy crypto, like their funds should be held somewhere. And so when customers redeem, they get the full dollar back. Now, we know that it appears that, you know, there is some type of hole and that would mean that FTX was taking risk with customers' deposits. And now Binance tweeting about the latest news reports regarding mishandled customer funds. They have decided that they will not pursue the potential acquisition, sending crypto spinning again. Ethereum, the second most actively traded digital currency, fell 10%. Crypto exchange Coinbase and the online trading platform Robinhood also fell in early trading. Over the last few years, um, you know, companies like Coinbase that are pursuing a trusted and regulated approach, we've been trying to seek regulatory clarity. And sometimes in the absence of that, um, we've seen customers basically going offshore to these uh, offshore unregulated exchanges. And occasionally we're gonna see blowups like this, I think, if unless that um, is resolved somehow. And with the fallout continuing, investors are facing and bracing for major losses.